Well, it is that time of year when many Americans make resolutions about health and finances. Kelly Lannon is the Senior Vice President of Emerging Customers at Fidelity Investments. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning and uh, Happy New Year. I, I, I hope we can still say that through most of January. What do you think? <laughs> I hope we can too. We'll say it anyway. Maybe it'll become true. So recently there was a study of, of with d several generations of people talking about resolutions, especially when it comes to financial issues. What did it reveal to you? Yeah, so our study showed us that more than half of Americans are, they are feeling overwhelmed by their personal finances and 31% say they have a stressful relationship with their money. And those top financial concerns, you know, inflation, uh, unexpected expenses, those were the top two concerns, followed by economic uncertainty and just not having enough money saved away in one's emergency fund. So when we make these resolutions, you know, which is, I think, our hope that we will stick to them, what advice can you give when someone comes to you and says, now, Kelly, I've made a resolution, I'm going to get my finances in order and, and reduce the debt. What steps would you have them take? Yeah. So I love this question because this is the hard part, right? <laughs> you got to stick to them, can't just make them. So two quick and easy ways to help. So number one setting specific and realistic goals. Many people, they set themselves up for failure before even getting started by setting these unrealistic or overly ambitious resolutions. By setting specific resolutions, it's easier to reach them by hitting these smaller milestones. And another recommendation, you know, celebrate those milestones and throw, throw a little fun into the mix. And number two, having a plan to reach your goals. Any resolution without a plan in place is a recipe for failure or even worse, resolution burnout. A roadmap, a, a clear plan can help combat against this burnout. We've actually found that those who do have a clear plan in place that outlines the specific milestones they're trying to achieve, they're more likely to stay on track and they're more likely to achieve their goals. Well, having said that, then for folks who maybe don't, they know they want to get this right in their life, but they don't have the tools and resources. What can you provide or what resources can you drive them to? So we are here to help. And, you know, fun fact, January, it's also Financial Wellness Month. And Fidelity has assembled a number of resources, including insights and tools on popular topics from saving and spending basics to achieving the money, money milestones that matter most to you. So check out fidelity.com slash financial wellness. We've brought everything together to really help people on their journey to achieve their financial well-being. Well, and to stay on track, too, because so, so often, even if you have the best plan, unexpected things happen. And so how do you address that with your clients? Yes. And so, you know, I can't even touch upon the importance of having a plan. And when I say have a plan, not necessarily talking about anything crazy, you know, taking a few notes on your phone, jotting them down to hold yourself accountable, continuing to check in. I mean, think about all the different things we plan for in our life from choosing what to wear, what we're doing on the weekend. And the good news is, is that 70% of Americans claim they do have a plan in place to achieve their financial goals, which can just further help ensure success and and that greater financial wellness we want everyone to achieve in 2024. Kelly, share that uh, the email address with, uh, with us again. So if they need more research, they can head there. Yeah, of course. So for more information, check out fidelity.com slash financial wellness. Thank you very much. We feel better already. Thank Thanks, you for Kelly. having me. Have a good one. We'll be back with more lifestyles after this. Stay with us.